What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition with my current subscribers. So, welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to side you everybody and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. Um, only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Okay, so I received another channel message in, so I'll go ahead and do it. It's not too late. It's 8.40 p.m., so we're going to do it. Uh, free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate leave the rest. Okay, so the channel message I received was a Pisces feminine doppelganger um, that um, knowingly and willingly um, perjured themselves in a court of law and stole money is about to uh, be indicted soon. They will end up in prison, is what I heard. So, um, you plugging in how it resonates, that is so strong. Holy crap, I'm only. So, a Pisces femme that willing, I heard willingly and knowingly. So, this Pisces feminine, if it's not you, it could be a Pisces feminine you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Hopefully, it's not you, but there's almost um, 10, 6 of you guys on here. So, I mean, I don't know. There's karmics that watch the, watch the channel as well. So, it may or may not be. I'm not sure. Uh, you could be somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly. Maybe you know the Spices fam. But I heard she's a doppelganger. So anybody that doesn't know, a doppelganger is basically someone that... This is what we got on the bottom deck after I shuffled. Um, a doppelganger is basically someone that externally looks like somebody. They could create themselves to externally look like somebody. Or they just naturally externally look like somebody. But it's external beauty, not internal. So they could act completely differently like somebody, excuse me, in the 3D. But look very, very similar to them. Usually it's not family related. It's not genetics. It's just, they just look a lot like somebody, basically. That is doppelganger energy. But I heard a Pisces fan doppelganger. So it's somebody that looks externally like somebody in the 3D. Probably not related. For some, they could be, but probably not. Um, but I heard they knowingly and willingly, so they were in their right mind, and they knew they were doing it. Go, they went into a court of law, and they perjured themselves. Um, I guess they were pretending to be the doppelganger is what I'm presuming. Um, I heard you steal money. So they went in basically duping a judge or judges or people in the courthouse, one or all those things, possibly, um, basically to steal money from somebody. They were not the person that they claimed they were, or they went in there with false represent uh, representative documentation, claiming they were getting it for somebody, the money for somebody, and they did not. Um, they kept it for themselves. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard they're going to be indicted soon. So indict, indictment energy for anybody that doesn't know. It's basically charges. It's high level charges. You don't get indicted unless you're being investigated or you have been investigated or there's some kind of reasonable suspicious reason to indict you basically. Um, and I heard they will end up in prison. I heard that spiritual message. So uh, it sounds like through many series of chain events, they will end up in prison. So they might end up in jail first, is what I'm presuming, possibly. And then, you know, trial and all that, and then go to prison, possibly. You plug in and how it resonates. I shuffled, and I got imprisonment on the bottom of the deck. So number 29 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 29, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social number, possible green card number. Number 29, imprisonment. A funny prank these immature people thought was funny at first has turned into many high-level crimes. And this Pisces feminine is about to pay. Has to take responsibility for what she did. Okay, wow. So you put, this is strong. So you plug in how it resonates. So... I heard she thought it was a funny prank at first. I heard funny prank that these people thought was funny prank at first. So I don't think it was just her that did, talked herself into doing this. I think maybe several people talked her into doing it. But 
apparently she thought it was a funny prank to go in and basically, in a court of law, you can't go into court of law and pretend to be somebody. You just can't. And you can't go in court of law and lie either. Uh, that's perjury. Just FYI, if anybody doesn't know that. You can't do that. You Going into the court of law is a serious thing. Um, immature people, criminals, don't take the court of law seriously. Um, it's the people that take the court of law seriously that actually follow and abide. Or I'm serious. Uh, this person apparently doesn't like to follow the law or um, or they just, well, obviously not. I heard they thought it was funny. They thought it was a funny prank. But funny pranks has turned into many criminal activities. So much so, they thought it was funny to go in and pretend to be somebody in a court of law, steal their money. They thought it was so funny, funny, ha-ha. But they're not going to be so funny, funny, ha-ha when they wind up behind, ball, uh, behind bars. I heard they're going to go to prison. They're going to be indicted soon. But honestly, they should be. Because um, that's not funny. It, I don't know. You have to be very, very, very immature. I don't care if you're 55, 65, 35, 25, what have you. To go up in a court of law and think it's funny to impersonate somebody and perjure yourself because you are pretending to be them in some shape, form, or fashion, either through a representative form or just looking like them and pretending you're them. That's not funny. That's not funny. And I heard they're about to pay for it. So imprisonment upright. This is prison energy down the line. For some, I feel it could be uh, jail at first. But indictment energy too. This is indictment energy as well. This is, woo. Spirit messages you have for collective. I mean, and honestly, they really, I mean, they truly deserve it. They really, really, really do. They do. We have courthouse reversed and house upright. Number 23 or 20 can be very significant numbers in um, one's life, possibly. 23 or 20, possible ages of years, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date birth number, possible jersey number, possible um, green card number, etc., etc. Courthouse reversed, house upright. This Pisces feminine was trying to weasel her way out of any more court hearings, but that's not going to happen because of the past. And she tried to take somebody's house through identity theft, but that's not going to happen. And mail fraud is significant here as well. Oh my God. Whoa. So, I mean, all I'm hearing is charge after charge after charge after charge. So, you plug in and how it resonates. So, mail fraud significant here. So, I think she's committed mail fraud against the doppelganger or somebody else. How that resonates. I heard mail fraud significant. So, she's committed mail fraud or somebody else has committed mail fraud. Maybe the people that thought it was funny. Hell, I don't know, but they're not going to be so fun. It's not going to be so funny, funny, ha ha, when these people wind up in prison. At least this one Pisces fem is. It may be other people connected to her. Maybe she um, um, rats out other people uh, down the line. I don't know. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. But some kind of male fraud energy. And I heard she was trying to avoid court because of the past. So because of the past, the reason she went in and basically pretended to be somebody else to steal money. Um, but I heard basically it's, um, uh, it's not going to happen, um, because it sounds like somebody's onto her. Maybe you're onto her. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I feel one of you guys is onto her. Um, but some kind of mail fraud energy here as well. Now, mail fraud is basically, and that's a federal offense for anybody who doesn't know that. Mail fraud is basically stealing. You cannot mess with anybody's mailbox, basically. Um, you can't. You just can't. That's a federal offense. You can't steal mail out of their mail. You can't, uh mess like you know people like drunk people go around and oh i'm drunk i hit your mailbox um i would hope they do the right thing and replace it but if they didn't you destroy the mailbox um just saying to say it and that's a that's federal the mailbox is federal you can't mess with mail you can't mess with people's mailboxes you just can't do that but some kind of mail fraud so i think they stole mail out of the doppelganger's mailbox or somebody else's mailbox. Because the doppelganger is very significant in here as well. Um, and I heard they were trying to steal the doppelganger's house through identity theft. But that didn't work either. 
So they tried to steal the doppelganger's house. They committed mail fraud, either from the doppelganger or somebody else. And they doppelgangered the doppelganger in a court of law to steal money from the doppelganger. That's so crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. And I'm not using that lightly. Several shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this soon. Not going to go well for this Pisces feminine. Doppelganger. Oh my lord. Woo, we are strong here tonight. So I heard several shocking series of chain events are going to go, uh, are going to happen with this doppelganger Pisces Femme soon. Um, and it's not going to go well for her. So I think that this shocking series of chain events is probably the indictment energy. Um, they might get indicted on mail fraud um, or something else. Or the, the theft. Hell, I don't know. But some kind of shocking series of chain events soon. I think the indictment is one. It might be something else. It might be the police pulling up at her house. Um, I heard she's been trying to avoid court, but that's, it's not going to happen because she doesn't want to be known as the person in town that stole from somebody that looks like her, basically. Who wants to be known as that? But she did it to herself, you know? Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm serious. I mean, who wants to be known for that? That's kind of like, and I hate using this example, but I'm serious. Like, Lorraine and Bobby, the person that cut off her husband's penis. We all know who she is in the world, but we know why. Because she cut off her husband's penis. Monica Lewinsky, the person that Bill Clinton claims I didn't have no sexual relationships with. But we all know why Monica Lewinsky, Lewinsky is so famous. And it's not because she wrote a famous song, if you know what I mean. Kind of the same thing. She's known in her city or town or province or wherever as the, per, the, the person that stole the person's money that looks just like her, basically. I mean, that's, that's worse than a Monica Lewinsky by 50 million percent, in my opinion. Way worse. Um, and to me, it's worse than Lorena Bobbitt. Huge, huge, huge wake up calls here. Huge. Okay, I heard huge, huge, huge wake up calls here. Huge. Yeah, I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. But, you know, you take it out, resonates. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped. And I'm going to say.